The thing about the Hammer Show we've tried to do during the last 10 weeks is bring a representative sampling of some of the area's um, brightest and most um, influential um, writers and publishers. And we're continuing that tonight with um, Mr. John Clark from Plop Plop Magazine, one of the most renowned magazines in the... Uh, whoa! Describe Plop Plop for people who haven't well, seen Plop Plop is an anthology of uh, poetry, prose, and artwork. Yeah. Uh, we take the best of work that people send us in between each issue, and we publish them under a cover, Plop Plop. We are uh, working on number 10 right now, and each cover is totally different. And we've uh, published work such as uh, by people like uh, Jack Kerouac, Kurt Vonnegut, uh, Charles Bukowski, and many other figures uh, lesser known, a lot of local people, um, poets, writers, and we're always looking for work too. So. Cool. So, it's fun. so if I submitted a piece, it might have a chance of getting in there, or yeah, yeah, yeah. With you, a self-addressed envelope, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, a certified check, yeah, would certainly help. How, how much sure. should I make it out for? A couple oh, hundred, do you think? Yeah, keep you know budget in in there. Yeah. Get it with your accountant. Yeah, figure it all out. But uh, no, actually, people send work um, just a self-addressed stamped envelope, and um, send it to our post office box, and um, got the information here. But um, we'll look it over and. All your luck goes right, you will appear in Plop Plop. Cool. Now, um, what, what kind of stories are in the latest issue? What kind of, give people a, flight, a sense of uh, what kind of stuff you got? Oh, we about. got everything. Uh, the good thing about Plop Plop is there's no advertisers, completely independent. So like this show. Whatever we can want to throw on there. <laughs> same, it's kind of the same idea. You can be goofy, we can uh, be passionate about it, but not take it too seriously, which is definitely needed in literature and in uh, especially poetry, things like that. So um, in the ninth issue, there's things from, uh, there's a letter from Char by Charles Bukowski to me when he was alive, and he came up with a slogan for us called, uh, nothing like the plop plop of a turd, but only if it's your own. <laughs> and one of my big, big influences, Words to live by. <laughs> Charles Bukowski. And so there's a nice letter and a drawing in that and everything to, um, a guy named Richard Costellanitz who's just pages of made up words. So we can have uh, experimental stuff and stuff to make people angry and uh, things that I'm sure you're used to doing here on the Steve Hammer Show. Sure. In your column. Yeah. Just to stir things up because we need creativity, things to be stirred up and to do stuff passionately but with a sense of fun and uh, yeah, I don't think a lot of people are aware that there is a pretty thriving writer scene in Indianapolis. Exactly. There is. There's stuff underground, which is more where we're at. There are more established places like the Writer Center and everything in between. There's people just doing punk do-it-yourself photocopying things. Yeah. And I like to stay in touch and just to see what all is out there and see what's happening. Go to readings. You can maybe scout people out at readings, people that kind of rise into the top and really showing that they've got something to say and some intensity and say, you know, hop aboard the uh, plop plop train, you know, cool. come on everybody.